This is a special FOA YouTube video just for teachers. Teachers who like to show their students more about fiber optics and do demonstrations on how fiber works in their classroom. Hi, I'm Jim Hayes, President of the Fiber Optics Association, the International Professional Society of Fiber Optics. The Fiber Optic Association was founded 20 years ago to educate a workforce in fiber optics so we can install the world's communication systems. But over the years, we've also worked with a lot of teachers, teachers all the way down through all grades, who want to show their students how fiber optics works. So in this video, I'm going to show you how fiber works and some interesting demonstrations and experiments you can do. For that, I'm going to use this spool of plastic fiber. It's not quite like the world's communication systems are built on, but it's bigger, so it's easy to see how fiber that we use works. One of the things which we will do is if you want to show your students how this works, we will send you a sample of this fiber so you can do these experiments yourself. If you're interested in doing that, Watch at the end of this presentation and you'll see a slide that gives you a way to contact us and we'll send you a sample of this plastic fiber. The world communicates over fiber optics. This map of all the submarine cables around the world projected on top of a map shot from the International Space Station of the world at night shows how all the population centers in the world communicate. They're connected on optical fiber. The same is true for communications on the land. Look at this map of the United States with all the major backbone fiber optic cables connecting all the big cities. You can pick out Boston and New York, Washington DC, Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Denver, all of the major communications within the United States are carried by optical fiber. This photograph, taken by AT&T 40 years ago to introduce a new technology called fiber optics to the world, illustrates one of the reasons we use so much optical fiber in communications. Even in those days, one single optical fiber could carry more phone conversations than that giant copper cable in the background. Today, we can do a thousand or a million times better than that because fiber goes further and faster, cheaper than any other way of communicating Fiber optics works by a simple technique of optics called total internal reflection. And we've created videos already on YouTube in a series we call Fiber Optics Live that shows you how this works. There's a photograph from one of those videos shown in here. But right now we want to show you some simpler experiments that you can e easily duplicate in your own classroom and if you like, we'll provide you with some plastic fiber to use for those demonstrations. To show you how optical fiber transmits light, I'm going to take this coil of large core plastic optical fiber and connect it into this device, which we call a visual fault locator. It's a high-powered red laser light that we can couple into the fiber. So let's turn it on, and now you can see how the light is coupled into the fiber, and you can see each coil of the fiber and how it's carrying the light. Now the reason you can see it, and you can see the red light, is because there's scattering going on in the fiber. The light is being scattered, and the scattered light is what comes out that we can see. At the end of the fiber, you'll see the light that's transmitted through. 
and near the end you'll see there's a bend. And when we bend the fiber, we cause the light to be lost in the fiber. So you can see the light coupled into the fiber, transmitted through the fiber, down to the end, some light is lost in this bend, and then it illuminates the rest of the fiber so you can see it very easily. And you can see where the light coming through the fiber is lighting up my finger. How do we transmit light down an optical fiber? That's easy. We turn it on and off. I can use my visual fault locator to modulate the light in the fiber. And now you can see it turning on and off. And the light that comes through the fiber becomes ones and zeros. One when it's on, zero when it's off. So we're sending a binary signal down this optical fiber. And that's how we transmit data through the optical fiber. Besides the visual fault locator that we showed you using for demonstration on the plastic optical fiber. There's another way to do it also with tools that are simpler and easier to get. Use a standard laser pointer. And you just hold the fiber and the end of the laser pointer and you can see the light being transmitted through the fiber. It's of course nowhere near as spectacular as my high-powered visual fault locator. But if you find a higher powered green laser, you can see it works much better. The green laser is more powerful and furthermore, the light scatters more in the fiber. So it shows up much better than does a plain red laser pointer. It takes a little bit of uh, time to position the fiber correctly into the laser pointer, but you can put some tape over it to make it a slightly larger diameter to fit better in the hole of the laser pointer. And then, when you get it aligned correctly, you can show your students how we modulate signals in the optical fiber by just turning the laser pointer on and off. If you'd like to do experiments like these in your own classroom, to show your students how fiber optics works, the FOA can send you a sample of the plastic fiber we used and a list of other materials that you'll need in order to duplicate the experiments. We'll also lead you to other experiments you can do in other videos that we have on YouTube already. Just send an email to info at foa.org. Put in the subject line, Teacher's Demo, give us the name of your school, a mailing address, and a phone number, and we'll send you out your free sample of plastic fiber. We're the Fiber Optic Association, the international, nonprofit, professional society of fiber optics. You can learn more about the FOA and learn more about fiber optics in general by going to the FOA website, www.foa.org.